Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to add another row to our doily. Now I just realized that I my background is orange and my doily is orange. So let me get this piece of fabric and put it on top so you can see it better. Okay, so this is our doily. And we made, I have a tutorial for every single road. And we did the first one, and then this one, and then this one, which a lot of people had a lot of problems with it. So if you are beginners, I would not recommend that you that you do this until you're comfortable with your with your needle and your thread and you know um and you really know how to not reverse your work and just continue without your your uh, not reversing. So today I'm gonna show you how to make this row right here. It's really simple and easy, at least to me it is. And it, our doily is getting bigger and bigger. Okay, sorry, you can't really see it that good, but here is uh, the one I'm gonna be working with. And I'm using white, purple, and white just because I want you guys to see it better. So let's get started. I uh, will be using a size 5 needle and of course 100% uh, cotton thread size 10. I usually always use that. And you want to leave a tail of about, oh my uh maybe f uh 50 inches because you're gonna be going all the way around your doily so it's a lot today is kind of cloudy out here it's been raining so my lighting in a, is not the best it's kind of dark in my house and i have all the lights on but um it's not that bright in here so i hope it comes out good so we're not gonna grab our dolly yet. We're gonna start by changing, uh, chain, not changing. I'm sorry, I haven't done this in a while. It's been over a month or more than a month since I put my last video. We're gonna do four double stitches. There we go, four double stitches. <laughs> One. Uh, pico and four double stitches. One more pico, four double stitches. Okay, so we're going to actually join to our doily right now and where I join there's coffee stains on it yeah I put my coffee on it and it got a stain on it but let me turn it around <laughs> um, we're gonna actually join we're gonna actually put two rings on our previous chain see our previous row so we're gonna go anywhere you want any chain just pick a chain and um, we're gonna join our first ring to our second pico in our chain see right there okay so grabbing my doily and I'm gonna join to this pico right here no I'm sorry to this one so we have five so we're gonna uh, join to my second pico in my chain previous chain so right there, and then 
join. Okay. Now do four double stitches. Pico, four double stitches. Pico, four double stitches. So we have two picots on each side of our needle with our joining pico in the middle. Just like that. Now let's go ahead and close our ring. Going slow so we don't get any knots, which takes forever to undo. <laughs> So I'm just going slow, pulling pulling the little loop out, making sure, see, it's starting to get not. So you just pull it out like that. And you can always put your finger in between like this while you're pulling, and that can help with the knots too. Okay, so go under. Now reverse, flip all your work, there's our teardrop, good, so we made our first ring, now we're going to make a chain of Four double, four double stitches in between with a total of five picots. So, four double stitches. Pico. And we're going to be working on multiples of four double stitches. You know, four double stitches all the time on this row. It's always better to do that because sometimes you forget, oh, was it three or two? So we know that our ring has four and our chain will have four double stitches. Pico, four double stitches, two, three, four. Pico, four double stitches, one. Pico, four double stitches. We need one more, one more pico. Four more double stitches. Two. Okay. So we're done with that chain. Starts to twist. Okay. I'm just going to pull it. See, it's starting to twist and not at the end. There. Okay. So there's our chain. We're gonna reverse our reverse our work. 
Okay. And now we're going to work on our next ring. Let me fix my chain so it's not too tight, not too close together. It looks better. Okay, so our next ring is going to be the same for double stitches. Pico for double stitches. Pico for double stitches. Now we're going to join to our work, which I got all twisted. <laughs> okay. So we're going to skip this one and we're going to join to this one. Just like this. Okay. Four double stitches. Pico. Four double stitches. One more pico, four double stitches. Okay, so we have our two picos on each side of our join pico. Now let's close our ring. Under and reverse. Good. Now we're going to do another chain which is going to bring us over to our next to the neck to the chain in our previous work in our previous row sorry so way over here so it's like making bridges so we can keep going and going <laughs> for our stitches Pico, four double stitches, Pico, four double stitches, Pico, four double stitches, so we have three Picos, we need two more, so our four Pico, Four double stitches. Two, three, four. Here comes our fifth pico and four more double stitches. Just like that. Let's go ahead and close our chain. Okay. And a reverse. Make a little knot on the top. 
And let's start our next ring. Same thing, four double stitches. Pico, four double stitches. Pico, four double stitches. Okay, so we have two picots on our needle. Now we're gonna join to our previous row. Okay, so you're gonna join to our second. See, you have the cluster in the middle. We're gonna join to this one right here. This is a very easy row. Just like that. Four double stitches. Pico. Four double stitches. Let me move my stitches down a little bit. Pico. Four double stitches. Okay, so we have two picots on each side. Let's close our ring. Okay, reverse your work. Make a little knot on top of that ring, just like that. And don't worry about it, about being all wavy and not staying where it's supposed to. When you start your work, it will be flat, just like the rest of it. Okay, next chain, the same thing, four double stitches. Pico, four double stitches. Pico, wait, I was about to do five double stitches. So we're doing four double stitches with five picos in them between. Okay, so pico, four double stitches. Pico, four double stitches. Uh, pico, four double stitches. And one more pico, four double stitches. Okay. Now let's finish the chain and I'm going to make one more ring with you and then when you're done going all the way around I will show you how to finish it and I got a little knot right there. Okay, I just have to pull this. Good. Okay, good. Twist Twist my chain. There. Okay. So we're going to reverse all our work. So when you reverse your work, try to flip your whole doily with it. That way you don't get confused. Okay. Okay, so let's do one more ring together. Okay, four double stitches. P 
pico four double stitches pico four double stitches okay so let's join to our next to our pico so we're gonna skip this one I'm gonna join to this one okay so this is what you should have so far okay four double stitches pico four double stitches one more pico and four more double stitches okay Let's close that ring. And go in my loop to close it. Just like that. And reverse. Remember, reverse your whole work. All your dolly has to go with your work. Little knot on the top. And there you have it. Now you have to keep going in each chain of your previous work. In every single one and now meet you when you're almost done so I show you where to join okay so I'm back I almost finished with the whole row I just need two more rings well to attach but then I need more more chains of course so this is what I have so far so I need one ring here and one ring here okay so we're gonna start with a ring four double stitches pico four double stitches Pico, four double stitches. And let's join. I'm going to join to our last chain in our previous row. Four double stitches. Pico, four double stitches. One more pico and four more double stitches. Okay. I'm going to close my ring. I'm going to reverse my work, all of my work. There's our teardrop. 
go behind it and under, under and my needle just, my thread just came off my needle. Let me get it back in there. Okay. And now we gotta start with a chain. Four double stitches. Pico. Four double stitches. Pico. Four double stitches. Third pico. Four double stitches. Two more picos. So one pico and four double stitches. Pico. Four double stitches. One. Two, three, and four. Okay. I'm gonna put my needle in front of my ring and just pull my needle and my thread through. Just like that. Now I'm going to reverse all of my work. And now we got the teardrop. Go behind it, in between, and pull it. Now we're going to start our last ring for our doily. Four double stitches. If I can get my needle there. One. Pico. Four double stitches. Pico. Four double stitches. Now we're going to join, I'm going to skip and join to the next one. Four double stitches. Pico, four double stitches, one more pico, and four more double stitches. Okay, now we're gonna close our ring. Reverse all of our all our work just like that. There's our teardrop in there. Good. Okay, now we're gonna start our last chain. Let me move my thread over here. Okay, four double stitches. Pico, four double stitches, and I think that pico is too small, so I'm just going to pull it a little bit. Pico, four double stitches, uh, not five, four, okay, pico, Four double stitches. Pico. Four 
pico, four double stitches. I thought I did less. Two, three, four, last pico, and four double stitches. Okay, putting my needle in front with my stitches facing to my left and pulling the needle. Okay, and I'm gonna reverse my work. Go under. Okay. Now, we're going to end on top of our first ring. Now, if you can see this ring, we have two, two chains coming out of that ring, right? But the chains are not on top of each other. They're next to each other. So when we're going to join, we're actually going to join not here on the chain where the other one starts coming out, but on the double stitch next to it. Right there. See, it's not really on the other chain. It's one of the double stitches from the ring. So you just go in there, start pulling it. Just like that. See? Make about two knots to secure your work. Okay, and there's our doily. I hope this video was helpful to you, and I hope you enjoyed it. I'm still thinking about if I'm going to add another road or not, but it, this is so much fun. Um, I'm working on other videos. As soon as I can, I will up upload them. I just... I've been very busy, but um, I appreciate all my new subscribers and all the comments you have uh, left me on my, on my channel. Thank you so much. Uh, so have a good day. Bye.